hello guys and welcome to my youtube channel uh, if you are not subscribed to this channel please click on the subscribe button below and so that when i post new videos you can receive them these are educational videos especially and if you are in this channel watching this video now it means you would have faced a problem with spss files they always have the dot skv extension and uh, most of the time people require a certain software called electica to open them you are in the right place let's begin now most of these files they have an extension that looks like this if you look at this file you see there is a file here called anxiety.sav when you try to open if you double click on it there is no program in your computer that is going to open this file if you are facing this problem then you are in the right place now let's begin we will move you through the process of uh, installing and solving the problem of .spss files now the steps for this procedure are very simple you need to install a certain software called collectica and to do that you are going to open the following address on your browser i will post this address in the description so you can get it from there and you are going to create a standard account for free with collectica.com and then you copy the license download collectica and you will install collectica to attach to your excel this is all and um, let us begin now we will go to this address and so i'll copy the address and then i'll open my browser and paste it here and then press enter now this is the collectica website when it opens you see data set more dash 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 you have three sets of licensing here actually four of them uh, now you can choose standard which is free professional professional recommended or site license because we are scholars and we don't have a lot of money we are going to choose standard for free so you are going to click on the standard license for free once you click on the standard license if it is your first time it will ask you to create an account now uh, I already logged in and that's why it's showing like this but assuming that you are a new person it will ask you to create account which will be required to fill all of this information so when you click on that link collectica brings you here and it's asking you to log in if you already have an account if this is your first time you will have to create an account here so I'm create an account here to and it will ask you your organization and my organization and then you will ask you for your email and you will put your email which will be my email at email at yahoo.com or at gmail then you create a password for yourself when you are done creating all of this you click the submit button so now let's click on submit now when you click on the submit button collectica will take you thank you from collectica now you have all of this information here there is an important information which is we need to save this is the activation code we will need it later in the future so it's important to copy the activation code so I will right click here, I will select, right click and copy the activation code. Now I will paste the activation code somewhere. This is the activation code. Now you, you have to continue here. You now click on this button here, click here to download. If you look at this button it says click to download so when you click on this button the download link is going to start very soon collectica is not a very uh, heavy software uh, it's a very small application 
so it would take a very little time to download so it says that download collectica so i'll click on start and you can see it takes just a very short while to download when collectica has downloaded open collectica from the folder this is the folder i downloaded twice because i've downloaded it before go to the folder where you have collectica right click and run as an administrator and then it's going to ask you collectica dash agree take install depending on the speed of your machine collectica might take a few minutes to install but it's not going to take a very long time because it's a very small application so i will pause this video and resume it when collectica is done installed you can see the progress collectica is installing so when collectica is done it will show you this message saying installation successful dash level click on close this is all you need to do now we are going to load excel remember to copy this code because we will need it in excel i'll click on start and i'll type excel Take a blank window. Um, now, when Excel opens, you see that there is a new tab that has been added here called Collectica. So you can click on the Collectica and you can actually import file from SPS, SPSS from Starter, you can get files from SAS. You can even create documents and do many other things so i'll take from spss and then it's going to ask you to enter your activation code this is where you need that code you can also continue as trial so i'll enter the activation code and i'll enter the standard activation code and i'll activate the standard version it's going to take a few moments and once activated you'll be able to use the free version of starter now the standard version has been activated so i can be continue with trial in mode oh. i'm gonna do that again so now that we've activated collectica if i click on import from spss now see what happens here data import of proprietary statistical format is the future of collecting collectica for excel professional in the non-professional version about one of every 18 rows will not be imported so this is the disadvantage of using the free version but this is just for demonstration you can then uh, get a professional activation code but let's just continue with the trial import you see the format here says .sfaev so I can go back to uh, I can click on this little browse button and then I will go to Collectica where is Collectica and I will import this file so when I click on import, it's going to take a little while, but at the end of the day, the data will be imported. So the data is now imported and my files can open. Thank you very much. There is a lot to do. Please subscribe to the channel and there's a lot of information here. If this is your first time in this channel, don't forget to click the subscribe button and uh, we will be able to send you more videos. Thank